Hey guys, this is Marie and I'm back with another video. And this video is going to be Omega-1 Beta Buffet Pellets or Natural Geographic Beta Pellets plus review. So let's get started. So in this video, I will be showing you and talking to you about Omega-1 Beta Fish Pellets and also the Natural Geographic Pellets and just giving you guys a rundown of what I think about them and also a review too. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you guys can see the title of this video, I will be talking to you guys about beta pellets today because I figured this would be an awesome video for all of you guys that are brand new of looking into getting your very first beta fish for the very first time and you guys are probably looking up of what kind of food should I feed my beta fish. Now you can feed your beta fish pretty much anything, but on the healthy side, these two brands are absolutely my favorite. And I figured if you guys are looking up for some kind of pellets and if you want to choose to give your beta fish pellets, these two brands should be the best brands to get for your beta fish. So I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys first about the Omega-1 beta fish pellets. Now this is what it looks like in the container. It's a good size round fat container and it has a blue label all around it, blue and black. As you guys can see, and on the front of it, it says Omega-1 Natural Seafood Formula Beta Buffet Pellets. And then on the side, it says made with fresh seafood. And it says on um, floating on the bottom, and this is a 1 ounce 28 gram container. So it's a very good size container. Now on the back of it, it just shows you a little bit about the container and what's inside of it. So it says Omega-1 Pellets made with fresh Alaskan seafoods for unmatched nutrition, natural color enhancement from salmon skins, high quality ingredients product, less waste, and then it says will not cloud your water. So that is awesome. Now on the other side, it just shows you the feeding instructions and what is actually inside of the pellets. Now Omega-1 is absolutely the good brand to get because Omega-1 does not have any fish meal inside of their uh, pellets. So if you guys are looking on the back of your pellets, if you go to a store, make sure it does not say fish meal on the back of it because fish meal is not very good for any kind of type of animal or fish or anything like that. So if you, as long as you don't see any kind of fish meal and it has good quality ingredients for healthy fish, then please go ahead and get that. The main two brands that do not have the fish meal in it is the Omega-1 and of course the other brand that I'm going to be talking to you guys about in a minute. But this is exactly what it has inside of it. I absolutely love this brand. It's an awesome brand and my beta fish absolutely love them. And this is a good size quality of pellet. Now Omega-1 has different sizes of their containers. Now the smaller size like this usually comes in with the pellets, the flakes, and the blood worms, I believe, and I have all three of those. And then you can go on the bigger side to where they have the flakes in a huge side, and that's what I have also. So if you, it depends on how many beta fish you have or multiple animals you have. It depends on probably what size quality container you guys want to get. But I believe I got this last year, and this does not expire till 2021, so I still got about two more years on this. And this is a awesome container. It's pretty much filled up to the top when you buy it. And we'll go ahead and open it up and show you exactly how full my container is still. So here is what the pellets look like. Let me even it up for you. So here it is right here. Um, when I first got it, I believe it was like right there where the label was at. And as you guys can see here. I barely even met a dent inside of this container. Now I do feed four beta fish and for having four beta fish and feeding them almost twice a day, every day, um, as you guys can see I still have plenty of pellets. So this is an awesome container and I think this will last you a, a very long time. If you have multiple beta fish and you want your fish to uh, if you want your food to last a lot longer so you don't have to keep going to the store and buying them, I think this would be a good brand to have, especially with multiple um, fish. Now, even if you only have one beta fish, this will definitely last you for a very long time because, um, you know, if you're only feeding your fish two times a day, 
I mean, you're barely even going to put a dent in it like I am. And I have four beta fish that I'm feeding out of this one container. But I absolutely love it. Omega One is the top brand that I think is the best out of any other brand besides fresh food for your beta fish. But if you don't want to give them that and you just want to do pellets, this would be the best brand so far to get. And as you guys can see, this is what the pellets look like. They're a very good sized pellet. Probably the size of the beta fish mouth, maybe just a little bit slight smaller. And like I said, it's an awesome brand and I absolutely love it. Alright, so let's go ahead and move on to the next brand. Now the next brand is Natural Geographic Beta Pellets. And as you guys can see, this is in a smaller container. It's a really small container and it just has a blue and black label like the other one. And here's what it looks like. So here we got on the front of it, it just has a blue beta fish, natural geographic word on it, the brand. And then it just says beta pellets. And then it just shows floating pellets made with whole fish. And then we have a about 55 ounce and 15.5 grams. And then it just has a little picture of what the pellets look like. And then on the back of it, this is... I don't think it's going to focus. There we go. And this is just what it is inside of it. And then it has the, the um, constructions on the bottom of it. And then this side, or this side is where it has everything inside of it. So as long as, like I said, as long as it don't have fish meal, you're absolutely fine and perfect. This is another brand that does not have it in there. So these will be very healthy for your beta fish. So that is what that looks like. Now this brand has a smaller um, container and a smaller lid. Now with this container, it don't have the whole lid that pops off. So that's pretty awesome. This one you could just have this little part where it pops off. And it just has like a little hole where you can actually pour them out a lot easier. And to get them so you don't make a huge mess. So like if you accidentally tip them over, a lot of them don't come out like they would in this one. This would pretty much, I actually tipped this over my very first one I tipped over and completely tipped them out on the floor, the whole container. So if I would have tipped this one over, I don't think a lot of them would have came out like this one because this one has a bigger hole in it. This one has like a smaller hole. And I think it'd be a lot more safer. But that is what that looks like. Now as you guys can see here, I do feed these to my beta fish also. And as you guys can see, it really didn't really do a dent in them so far. Um, I go back and forth of feeding them both brands. And as you guys can see, there's still a lot of pellets inside of there. And I like it has like the smaller lid on it. Now the only thing about this, um, I even though I have four beta fish and I have this container, I still think this is a good size container for a beta fish. But I think this one will probably last a lot longer than this one just because it's a bigger t container than this one. Now this one doesn't expire till 2021 so I still got about two years on this also. So that's pretty good and awesome about how long the expression date lasts. Now if I had to choose of which one to probably get I would probably go with this one because of the bigger size of container. And plus, it's easy for me to get my fingers inside and pick out the beta fish pellets. This one, I usually have to tip over into my hand. And then when I usually tip it over, usually about a whole bunch of them fall out. And then I have to pick through them to get some and then put the rest, try to get the rest back into the container. That's the only thing I really don't like about this container is because even though the hole is a good size to get some out, some of them do come out a lot more than you would just get your hand, your fingers, and just pick through here. Now, the beta fish pellets on this one, I think, is a little bit smaller than this one. So, I'm going to go ahead and take out a couple on each one and then show you the, you know, the difference of each size of the pellet. So, I'll be right back. Alright guys, I am back and I go on ahead and took out some of the pellets to show you guys exactly the size of each pellet now if i look very closely i believe they both look almost the same size of each other it's kind of hard to see it on camera let me see how close i can get so this is the omega one pellets 
and then this is the Natural Geographic pellets. So I'm going to try to go ahead and put one of each next to each other and then we'll see what's, if there's a difference. So that is both pellets together. So pretty much they're almost they're pretty much the same size. So there's no really difference of the beta fish pellet size. So pretty much both of them are the same size. Now like I said when I tipped um, the little container out to get them out and put them in my hand. This is how much that came out. A little bit more came out but I tried to I put them back in there. But yeah. Now when I went on ahead and used my fingers of oh, this one, this much came out. I usually do about twice and I usually get about probably this much of each every time I use my fingers to get them out. But like I said, they are both pretty much the same size. If you guys can see it, sorry that there's not a lot of good lighting in here. But they look the same size and both of them are very good brands. So if I had to choose, I'll probably go with this one because of the container and the size and it's just easier to take your fingers and pinch and get them out. This one is good because of the lid and if you have a good steady hand that will pour some out and not pour a whole bunch out and try to get them back in, I would go with this. But I like both brands, don't get me wrong, both of them are very healthy for your beta fish. But I would probably go with this one first because of the container size and plus of the whole two. Now I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys about the price and where you guys can usually get them at what pet store. So the very first one will be Omega One. And the Omega One, you can get this at PetSmart. And when I looked it up online, it was about $3.48 for one of these containers. Now I'm not sure if that's going to be the same price going into the store. I think I believe it is about three dollars but I'm not exactly sure if that's actually the same price that is online. It might be a little bit less, it might be a little bit more, but I think usually these are about three dollars and some change. But online it said PetSmart it was $3.48 before tax. This one at PetSmart was actually $3.89. So this for this little container was $3.89, almost $4.00 and you would pay $3.48 for this one for a bigger container. So which one would you guys go through? $3.89 or $3.48? I think I would go with this one. The next thing I did was look it up on um, Amazon. Now this one came up and popped up for $5.80 and I think Amazon probably got their prices a little bit crazy. I don't think I would spend $5.80 for this container. Now, if it was a bigger container, like I do have my uh, uh, flakes, then I would probably would. But on Amazon, it's about $5.80 for this. Now, when I looked this up on um, Amazon, I could not find it. So I'm not sure if this brand stopped or if they're not selling this on Amazon, I'm not exactly sure. And then also on um, Petco, I couldn't find this either. So these on Amazon, I could find this one, but I can't find this one on Amazon. Now when I looked it up, um, this one I looked up on Petco and Pestmar, I can't find it either. So I believe, I'm not sure, this is where I originally got it was at PetSmart, um, but I'm not sure if they went on ahead and stopped the, the pellets for the geographic or what's going on. But I looked it up on it and I cannot find it, so I'm not exactly sure if they still sell it in the store. It's been a while since I've been at PetSmart, so I'm not even sure if they're on the shelf anymore. But you guys can let me know in the comments if you guys do get these and you do see them still at PetSmart. But that is pretty much it for each item. Like I said, these are $3.48 online for PetSmart. This one was $3.89 at um, PetSmart. And then for Petco, I cannot find either or. Where I couldn't find this one at Petco either. This one was at Petco. Um, no, I'm sorry. I'm getting confused. Alright, so this one was at Pestmore for $3.48.
this one was at Petco for $3.89. I could not find this one at Petco, but I can find this one at Petco. And I think Petco and PetSmart is a good spot for these and online. Amazon, um, I found it was $5.80. This one, I cannot find it at all. So, and I am not believe when I got this. I think it was either last year or the year before. So they might have already stopped this brand since then. But you guys, like I said, just let me know in the comments if you guys have this and if they still sell them in the pet store. Alright guys, but that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry for me rambling on. I got a little confused. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!